My story is about a young man that uh, worked for the same company I did and he was out of Columbia, Missouri and he had ended up back here in Cedar Rapids for uh, someone had brought him down and ended up uh, in a bad situation. He spent the night in front of the office and it was a cold night. And I got a call that this young man was there. I, they said, you, you're going to be probably one of the first ones there. I want you to see what's this guy and see if you can help him. And that was probably my first prompting uh, to make sure I got there on time so I could see this guy because I didn't know what we were walking into. And I walked in and he was shaking. He was uh, he, he, uncontrollably. So I told him, I said, look, we're going to call an ambulance. And we did that. And uh, he spent a couple of days in the hospital. And I said, uh, uh, talk to him briefly. And, you know, he was going to have to go back to Columbia, Missouri. And uh, he had no money, nothing. And uh, so I picked him up from the hospital, took him over to uh, uh, get him some food, took him to a, a hotel so he'd have a place to spend the night. We. Um, we were able to get him a bus ticket for the next day to go back to uh, Columbia. And so we did that. Uh, I picked him up the following morning. We went over to the bus station. And uh, one of my favorite verses is from Psalms 31. And it, it, part of it says, Lord, I trust you. You're my God and my times are in your hands. And so we were in the parking lot and I, uh, you know, we, we prayed. And I said, I want to pray with you and that God would take care of you. And, and so we did that, and that verse came to my mind. So I said, uh, hey, I want to give you something. So I wrote it down on a piece of paper, and I gave it to him. And uh, he was going back to Columbia. The understanding with him going back was that he was going to need to go to a, check himself into a hospital. He needed some uh, uh, getting over. He needed a time to get over some of the issues in his life. Alcohol was one of them. He had some medications that he was on that were, were not correct, and he needed to deal with that. So, and I, I said, okay, here's some money. For, well, first of all, we stopped and got him some food, so he had something to take on the bus with him. And then we uh, I told him, I said, you know, uh, here's some cash for you to get, because he had to get from the bus station to the hospital. And how was he going to do that? So he got him a taxi so he could do that. And he did that and kind of kept an eye on how he was doing. And he got out of the hospital. He ended up spending some time on the streets there in Columbia. Uh, because he had nowhere to go and um, uh, he did finally find a place to live and so we would talk from time to time and, and one day he told me he said you know and, and this happened in like 2019 and one day he told me he said you know that you remember that verse you gave me I still have it in my pocket excuse me but this is a little emotional But the fact that God led me to give him that verse was pretty amazing. And, uh, you know, again, when you talk from time to time, and I guess a few months ago, it was probably, I don't know, three or four months ago, you know, we were, on a con we were having a conversation. He called me about someone that he was concerned about. And, and uh, he said, thank you for being you. And I thought, wasn't me. It was God.